Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm Lindsay and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25 point scale, 5 points on the nose, 10 on the palate, 5 on the finish, and 5 points combined for the bottle and color of the juice. Now on to the review. This smells good. Good. I hope you enjoy it. It's got a decent amount of oakiness on it. A very pleasurable oaky. <laughs> I was going to say one word and I went to a different one. It was weird. I was going to say pleasant and then I added a bowl. <laughs> Took the tea out and added a bowl. So it. this one's got a lot of fruitiness and a lot of different fruitiness. I don't really get that on many whiskeys. You're big on I get caramel apple, mm. black currants. You know that what? really sour type berry, that dark taste. I mean, I know what they are. Oh, they're so it. good, and I smell it in this. I also get blackberry cobbler. I can smell like that. Got like that pastry dark. It's dark. dark berry it's sweet. Smell. It's, yeah, but I still do get that apple in there too, and that caramel. Yeah, that tastes good in your cup too. I get a small amount of alcohol. Really, don't get much alcohol on this. And the wood just seems like some nicely seasoned wood. It seems like it's been sitting in the wood a while. It's got a nice smell to it. Sitting in the wood a while. So yeah, oaky, dark fruit. Very impressed. Which, very unique. How impressed are you? 4.5. Oh, okay. That's pretty impressed. Yeah, it is. Okay. It smells good. Does it taste as good as it smells? No, but it does no. taste good. Um, you get a nice peppery bite that starts intense and then moves back, and you can get some rye. It burns the whole tongue. It's nice peppery. You know you're drinking a good bourbon right now. I just feel it. Mm. Um, I get a little fresh press, fresh ground cinnamon. Definitely not a can. I'm having trouble talking. Fresh pressed cinnamon? <laughs> I was thinking about that your, apple. We're going to have to do a video about that, about how you press cinnamon. Get your ironing board. Fresh ground cinnamon. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, still, the oak is very, very pleasant. It smells pleasant. Pleasurable. Okay. At least you got it that time. But other than that, it's got that bitter tannic char mm. in the back with that rye. It's got a lot of char actually, but I like it. I didn't love it though. I didn't love it as much as the smell. I wish I got some of that fruit on there. Maybe get a little apple, maybe toward the, Something the finish though. A little vanilla too, but 7.75. Still a good score, just not at where I want it to be. Okay, how about the finish? Charry tannic, a lot of char, kind of the star of the finish. I got that red delicious apple, like I said, was coming along more in the finish. Okay. I forgot that I had that in the finish. I was reading my palate notes. I'm like, I didn't say apple and I taste that, but I'm like, yeah, it's more in the finish. I wrote it down in the finish. So I'm accurate, surprising myself. Mm. And that vanilla does come through and last for a while. But it's got a fairly long finish. I definitely wouldn't say medium at all, but it's not super long. And a small hug. That's good. 3.75. What kind of bear hug? I said a small hug. I know. Is it like a polar bear hug? No, a small hug. So it's like a cub. Like hug. when we hold it long, hold it, hold held it. one of those cubs. That was like the best day of my whole yeah. life. I got to hold a grizzly bear cub. And it Forget was our girl. wedding. The like, cub was the best. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, 3.75. A lot of char. Um, I don't really like the char as much. I wish the apple and vanilla and caramel would just be stronger. Yeah. The look is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks fairly thick with a ton of legs. Ton mm -hmm. of legs. Yeah, it like pleats the whole glass. Yeah. And they just stick there for a while. Yeah, they're just hanging out. It's got a nice like reddish amber color too. 
I almost gave it full points. 2.25. I wouldn't mind it a little bit darker. Meh, I agree. Guesses? I have no guess. I said 90 to 95 proof, though. You were wrong. Shame. For shame. I haven't been right much lately. No, you haven't. Typical. Thought we would visit an old Kentucky friend. Kentucky Spirit. <laughs> the bottle looks like rare breed from the back. Yeah, that's the truth. Um, not my favorite bottle. Yeah. It's very boring. The fantail one kind of grew on me, and I like that one a little bit more. It's my favorite. It's not my favorite. Is it right behind you? It is right behind me. Yeah, it's not that one, but... I'm going to give the bottle a 1.5. It's not terrible. Mm. Get that junk out of here. You get out of here. So that would bring you up to... 79. That's accurate. That's good, but it's not great. I feel like you're, when you did this before, it was like that, too. When I, we did, we did a pork and dusties with it, with that one. Um, I don't really like wild turkey too much. They're not a really great sipping whiskey. I like rare breed. This one but is decent. But isn't this one more expensive than rare breed? Didn't we yeah, say that? Yeah, this is a single oh. barrel 101. Yeah, but rare breed is so much better. Yeah, rare breed is I think is we said that proof, if though. you would get... If you'd have to pick side by side, yeah. definitely get rare breed. But we're big fans of rare so, breeds. So. This is a single barrel. This does that a date? Uh, five twenty one and nineteen. So from it's barrel thirteen oh seven, warehouse F, brickhouse number thirty eight. For anyone who knows anything about that, because I don't. <laughs> um, don't. Yeah, it is a single barrel one hundred one. I think it should be one hundred one for sure. Yeah, it's a hundred one. Are you done sliding that around? Got your boob on the bottom. You can see it through the bottom. So you get a lot of char on it because they use an alligator char, number four, Oof. the heaviest char you can do. Yeah. I think that's what shies me away from wild turkey a little bit. With a barrel proof, I don't get it as much. I get more flavor on the Dalton. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, but the more they the water, water it down, it the worse it, it gets. Yeah. It's good. It's better than 101. What is their mash bill? So it's 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley, and this was first released in 1994. I know this was one of the first single barrels on the market. I think Booker's... No, Blanton's beat them. Booker's didn't have a single barrel until later. They had all the small batches first. Blanton's was the first. Mm. So they might have been second or third. Blankens was an 84, so that they were way ahead. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's a good whiskey. I mean, I think 79 is accurate. You're, it's not one of your favorite things in the world, but I mean, it's not Rare terrible. breed was mid-80s. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's accurate. Well, there you have it. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.